Hello friends, have a good time. In this video, I want to teach you the types of capacitors and their uses. Stay with me and subscribe and follow me. What is a capacitor? A capacitor is an electronic component that has the task of storing electrical energy and stores this electrical energy in the form of electric charge Q on its plates. We have different capacitors that have different uses, but all of them have at least two conductors called capacitor plates. And in the middle of those capacitor plates, there is an insulator called dielectric. And this dielectric determines the capacity of the capacitors. Of course, different types of capacitors are named based on the type of this dielectric. Performance of a capacitor. In this picture you see, suppose it is a capacitor that we connected to a battery. So the electrons move on this plate and from that plate the electrons go into the battery. After a few moments, the charged capacitor means charge Q electric is, bla is placed on the plates of the capacitor. The plate that is connected to the positive polarity becomes positive and the plate that is connected to the negative part of the battery becomes the negative polarity or negative plate. The relation of the capacitor is also equal to Q divided by V. Q is the amount of electrical charge in columns stored on the plates and V is the voltage at both ends of the plates. Series and parallel capacitors. Completely opposite to resistors. When the capacitors are parallel to each other, the capacity of the capacitor is equal to the sum of the individual capacities. That is, the total capacity is equal to the capacity of all the capacitors. Suppose we have these three capacitors in a circuit. The capacity of each of them is different and its voltage is placed in parallel at both end of each capacitor. The voltage causes the current to move. If the first capacitor is fully charged to Q1, the second capacitor is charged to Q2, and the third capacitor is charged to Q3. When any of the capacitors are charged, no current flows. Suppose the capacity of capacitor 1 be the least of all. First it is charged, it doesn't pass through this current. But it passes through these two current lines so that these two capacitors are charged as much as Q2 and Q3. In total the charge stored on all these plates is added individually. These are the capacities and the total is equal to the sum of the individual capacities of each of these capacitors. Now if the capacitors are placed together in series, their capacity relationship will be as follows. The inverse of the equivalent capacitor capacity is equal to the sum of the inverse of the capacity of individual capacitors. In this circuit where the capacitors are placed in series, the voltage between the two ends of each capacitor is no longer placed. A part of the voltage between the two ends of each of these capacitors is placed. So as a result, less charge is stored on each of them, which this time causes each of these capacitors don't be charged as much as their nominal capacity.
So as a result, the equivalent capacity is much less than the capacity of the smallest capacitor. That is, suppose the capacity of capacitor 1 has the lowest capacity are connected in series. The capacity of the equivalent capacitor is even less than the capacity of the first capacitor. We have different types of capacitors and they have different applications and I will introduce to you. According to this category, electrolytic capacitors, ceramic capacitors, multi-layer capacitors, tantalium capacitors, polyester capacitors, MKT capacitors, and the last part are special capacitors. Here you can see the appearance of the electrolytic capacitor. Electrolytic capacitors have different models, both deep and SMD. In this way, they are usually in the shapes of a cylinder and exist in different capacities and voltage. The electrolytic capacitor is known based on its capacity and voltage. But what are their SMD models like? SMD capacitors no longer have these long metal bases and are assembled on the surface of the board and SMD capacitors are specified based on their capacity and working voltage. You can see their different dimensions which are determined according to this table. For example the dimensions of the 470 microfarad size A capacitor are known or size B or size C. So their dimensions are very important which means choosing these dimensions is important for board design polarity polarity means the positive and negative sides of the capacitors in the schematic the capacitors are identified in this way by two parallel lines and the capacitors that have polarity which means that their positive and negative bases are separate, are identified in this way. An electrolytic capacitor is a polarized capacitor. Now, how can we find out their polarity? If it is a deep model, the negative polarity pin is always marked with a line. Now, either this line is white or this line is black. In SMD electrolytic capacitors, the black strip, which is equivalent to negative polarity, is engraved in this way. The type of dielectric of electrolytic capacitors is made of electrolyte and it is like that there are two conductive plates and in the middle of the of it there is a dielectric material like a paper model and this rolled tape is placed inside the capacitor cylinder. The thing is we have to be very careful. If we are not careful and we solder the positive and negative of an electrolytic capacitor wrongly, this capacitor may be damaged and burst and we have to replace the capacitor. Another case where this may happen is that we have not put a capacitor with the correct voltage on the board. For example, here our power supply is 24 volts and we have mistakenly soldered a capacitor of 6 and 3 tenths of volts on the board. As soon as the voltage it is placed on top of these plates, the capacitor will burst and burn. And this may sometimes make a loud noise. And even if someone is on top of the cap this capacitor, the substance inside may splash in the face and get hurt.
what is the capacity and voltage and how to read electrolytic capacitors if the capacitors are in the form of a dip which is engraved on the capacitor itself for example it is written 2200 microfarads and the capacitor is 35 volts which means that the maximum working voltage of this capacitor is up to 35 volts and its capacity is up to 2200 or for example 25 volts 1000 microfarads or this larger capacitor which has a capacity of 330 microfarads 450 volts it means that it can withstand voltage up to 450 volts how it is in SMD models for example 1000 is engraved on them which is equivalent to 1000 microfarads and the voltage is 25 volts 470 microfarads and 25 volts these two numbers above these codes are about the standard and temperature coefficients and their accuracy applications of electrolytic capacitors the main characteristic of electrolytic capacitor is that they have high capacities compared to other capacitors and other models so they are mostly used for stabilizing the voltage level or capacitor filters it is used in the voltage level stabilization circuit suppose there is a rectifier circuit on this side we have sinusoidal uh, alternating current and on this side we want to have a DC output so this rectifier circuit is a diode bridge I will explain in the next tutorial and after that we have an electrolytic capacity we put a high capacity the input alternating current that passes through the rectifier in a complete sinusoidal form here we have a full wave rectified current which is still not DC we put a capacitor and this capacitor causes that our voltage level is almost constant DC how does it work when the voltage increases from this part the capacitor is charged and when the voltage decreases it means that it was charged first when the voltage level drops this capacitor is discharged and discharges itself outside until we reach this part and it starts charging again which means the voltage increases and it's charged it is charged again in the same way when the voltage is decreasing the voltage of this part is lower than the voltage of the plates it is discharged and when the voltage increases it is charged like this in our case a constant voltage level is created in our output it can be said that this is the main application of electrolytic capacitor I hope you have made the most of what was said subscribe us and introduce us to your friends